Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Beauty Bay mystery box unboxing. I have got it here. So before we get into the actual unboxing of the video, I want to address that I've had some issues with Beauty Bay and this is more of a PSA to anyone that is thinking about ordering from Beauty Bay. I paid for next day delivery on this. It's something like five pounds extra and it didn't come the next day. And I also noticed that on their social media, on all of their posts, on their Instagram, their TikTok, their Facebook, all of the comments are their customers saying that they have placed orders and they either haven't received them or they've received the wrong orders or they're waiting for refunds. So I just wanted to put that out there to anyone that is thinking of purchasing anything from Beauty Bay at the moment. This being said, I did send in an email to their customer services um, and said that I didn't receive my parcel within the time frame. So you need to order before I believe 11 p.m to qualify for the next day delivery and then you should receive it by 10 p.m. the next day. I didn't, I received it midday the day after that. I did get an email back from them and they are going to process a refund for my delivery fee and they've also sent me an email with a 20% discount for my next my next haul. <laughs> I have said this before in one of my videos and I didn't stick to it, but I don't think I will be purchasing from Beauty Bay in the future as much as possible. However, Beauty Bay is just convenient and the whole reason that I was making this order in the first place was for my brows, I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz and I know they do that on Beauty Bay. It was also on offer and um, I think it's around 20 quid, so any discount is great. If you've looked in my videos, back. I did have an issue where back in August I placed an order with them. I think it was for around £60 or something like that. They took the money, they accepted the order, I got the confirmation email and then a couple of hours later they emailed to say that they had cancelled my order. Um, this is partially my fault because my bank details are at a previous address. However, if you're going to put these checks in place then you should be checking before you take the money before you confirm. So then I had to wait 10 days for the refund of my money, meaning that I couldn't repurchase the product somewhere else in time for the event that I was going to. All of this aside, I did get a couple of extra things that I will just show you first before we get into the unboxing. So obviously, like I said in the beginning, I did repurchase the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I use it in ebony and this is what it looks like. And this is what I have on my brows today. I love this because it's got such a fine tip to it. And then on the other end, it just has this spoolie, like a normal eyebrow spoolie. And it's great for brushing. Obviously, you know that I only have eyebrows up to here anyway. <laughs> but yes, I find that it's really nice and thin and really easy to work with for fine strokes. And it looks very nice and natural in my opinion. The next thing I got was a e.l.f. lip liner. This is another repurchase and I got this in deep brown. Um, I also have this on my lips today with a Colourpop lippy stick. I'm not sure what that shade is. And that just looks like this. Now I love the e.l.f. lip liners just because of the shape. They've got this round end and then this pointed end and it's really great for obviously using for the shape of your lips, doing the round parts and then you've got a straight part. Just makes it nice and crisp around your mouth. <laughs> Now the last thing that I purchased uh, aside from the mystery box is this and this is the e.l.f. Expert Liquid Eyeliner. Now I do have this on my eyes today um, however, I will say it was not the easiest thing to work with. Um, and I, I basically just wanted to try it. It's always good to try a new eyeliner. And I think this was about £4, £3, £4. So it wasn't massively expensive. I'm hoping it's going to be durable, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it if you've done a lot of work on your eyeshadow because it is super easy to mess up and you don't want all of that work to go to waste. So... I will let you know more about this. Okay, so let's get to the main event. Here it is, this is the mystery box and this mystery box is 35 pounds. I'm just gonna read a little bit about it 
from the website to you so you know what this is about. So just looking on the website at the moment, it does actually say that the ultimate mystery box, which is what this is called, it is currently saying it is out of stock. Now I purchased this on Sunday, it is now Thursday. <laughs> so obviously it has sold out within the last three or four days. I think it was actually out of stock by yesterday. I can see um, on TikTok, on Instagram, they have been doing a lot of advertising for this. Just to read a bit of the description to you, this says it's a box of 11 makeup and skincare products, including our best-selling palettes. This super-sized beauty mystery box is every beauty obsessive dream, featuring some of our most loved by Beauty Bay products across skincare and makeup. Apparently there is one sold every minute. It says here that it is worth £105.50, saving you 70%. And the thing that actually got me um, the most interested is the fact that they are all cruelty free and vegan friendly. Now I am trying to make currently the switch to purchasing only cruelty free and vegan brands and makeup from, from here on out basically. I won't be throwing away anything I have but from now on I will be doing my best and doing my research. So that was what truly sold me on this. With that being said, let's just get straight into it. Okay, we're just gonna do it like this. Oh my God, how do you get into it? It's got this little pull tab at the front. I've had this for like three days. So I've been, oh, so excited to open this and see what's actually in it. So this is just what the inside of the box looks like. Ooh. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Okay, I'm just gonna show you as I see it in there. Just gonna pick them out one by one. So the first thing that I can see here is a buttercup cleansing balm. I'm just gonna say straight off the bat, it does look like there is quite a lot of skincare in here. I can already see what looks like one of the Disney palettes. When I looked at the reviews of this, sorry, we will get into this in a moment, but when I looked at the reviews on their website and also in their comments on the advertisements for the mystery box, they were completely all over the place. Some people were like, oh my God, it's worth the money. It's so worth it. Yes, everybody get one, which obviously they've sold out, so... Some people were like, oh, it's just the stuff that's on sale, the stuff that they couldn't get rid of, the stuff that they don't want anymore. Like, it's already on sale. It's discounted because it's, like, end of the line. So we will see. As I was saying, the first thing I can see in here is a buttercup cleansing balm. It says oat lipid and chamomile. Deep cleansing and moisturizing for all skin types. Ooh, okay. Well, inside it's got, what is this? What does it say? Use spatula to scoop out product and then apply it with fingers onto dry skin and neck. Massage in circular motions over the eyes, skin and lips to break down makeup. Oh, it's a, it's a makeup remover cleansing balm. That makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, massage in warm water, milky forms. So, so it's basically, it's a cleanser and I'm guessing spatula, spatula. It says, it does say use spatula. Use a spatula. Where is the spatula? Spatula's in the top. <laughs> so this is what it looks like when you, this is what it looks like when you take the lid off and then it just comes with this little spatula that's got the Beauty Bay B on it. And then, oh, it's in, oh, it's like, oh, okay. It's in a very like hard form in like hard form so you need to like melt it down with your fingers i'm not obviously gonna use it now because i like my makeup that i done today and then i'm just curious as to what this thing that was in the top of it is so i'm gonna open this up i guess it's just a little cloth it seems a little bit pointless i'm not gonna lie it's like really really thin and mm, Okay, well, sure. 
I have already got the reusable like face wipes that I use to take my makeup off um, and they're big and thick and fluffy so I'm not sure how much use I'll get out of the one that they've put in the top there but props for trying I guess. <laughs> the next thing that I can see here is a toner. 5% glycolic acid toner, decongesting and smoothing skin. For decongesting and smoothing skin even. Let's open her up. So it's just a standard like toner bottle inside. Yeah, just a standard toner bottle. Let's see. Ah, okay. It's got quite a cool top to it, if you can see. Not gonna be able to see, are you? No. You twist to open and close, and it's got a hole here in the middle. So that's quite helpful for putting on a cotton pad. Just to squeeze it out. The next thing is another skincare thing. And this is a overnight mask. This says for gently exfoliating and conditioning skin. Let's have a look. Okay, it's in like a like a lotion bottle. And let's see what it says. So, an overnight gel treatment designed to gently exfoliate and refresh the skin features soothing and brightening properties as well as helping the appearance of pores. So you just massage into the skin over the face as the last step in your nighttime skincare routine, avoiding the eyes, and then get your beauty sleep and to use two to three times a week. Well, that's nice i will give these i'll give this skincare stuff a go because i do a little bit of skincare but i'm not massively into skincare and i won't lie i don't know a whole load about skincare so i will try these out and i will possibly make another video of a review of all of this skincare stuff now as far as i can see i think that that is all of the skincare stuff that's in here so we'll move on to the makeup the next thing is what looks like a palette now I did see again in the comments that a lot of people said that they were getting the Disney collection of the Beauty Bay stuff, which to be very honest, I wasn't very interested in this Disney collection. As far as I can tell, like the only Disney thing about this so far is the fact that it says the Jungle Book. Like nothing about this packaging screams Disney to me. I just didn't find it very interesting, but let's take a look at the actual palette. It's actually impossible to get into this. I should have brought scissors. I should have been prepared. I'm just gonna rip it. It's gonna pull my nails off. Like my actual nails. Oh, I'm just, that's it. I'm ripping it. I'm ripping it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know it's hard to look at. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so on the inside, it actually looks like this. So that is obviously a picture of, is it Baloo? I'm not, I'm not too sure who it is. I haven't seen the Jungle Book for a long time. I'm sorry. Um, but these are obviously the characters from the Jungle Book. And then it looks like on the back, we've got the shade names here, I'm assuming. So there is Baloo Fur. Jungle Tree Trunk, Jungle Sky, Jungle Leaves, Jungle Trees, and Bagheera. Oh, is it Baloo and Bagheera? I couldn't remember what this guy's name was. So this is the inside. It's just a six color palette. It's quite a small palette. It's a nice size palette for traveling. It's not a color palette or a color story that I would choose for myself, but it is always helpful to have colors. I, I am getting a bit more into colors, I must admit. I'm always afraid of like blue eyeshadow though, or this kind of color. I'm definitely not a purple person. I don't think I ever will be a purple person. You know, it's a nice little palette. We'll leave it at that. Let me just swatch. I feel bad to ruin the Mickeys. They are quite cute. It's not the most amount of color payoff ever. Let's do the pinky shade. So it looks like quite a subtle pastel-y palette. This is the bluey shade. Hmm. Oh, that's got a bit more color payoff. That's the yellow. And then this is black. I do like a, a palette that has a black because a black is always helpful. So you can see that's the swatches next to the palette. The top layer is the ones that I did first and they do look a little bit pastel-y but they are quite nice looking. I guess for a subtle look they would be really helpful. 
Let's move on to the next thing. So I can see another Disney thing in here, so I'm just gonna open this one up next. This is the Disney Color Collection Shadow Stick Trio. And this is the packaging that it comes in. So open this up. I am intrigued by um, shadow sticks. I don't, I don't think I currently own any. If I do, they would be very old ones, I'm sure, because there's none in my current collection. They don't want anyone to get in this packaging. Opening this up now, it is a set of three, which you should probably be able to tell from the packaging on the front. Okay, so we've got a, a pink, a light blue, and a purple, which we just discussed is my least favourite colour in the world. So let's start with that one. Makes sense, right? This is what it looks like with the lid off. And then that's the eyeshadow stick itself. So where can I swatch where I haven't swatched? I don't know what that is. Don't ask me questions about it. So it's got a nice colour payoff if you're someone that likes purple. I'm not sure about the the blendability of it, but as the case with most eyeshadow sticks, I think it would be a good base for layering up a purple smoky eye or something like that. And then we'll do the light blue next. This is what it looks like in the stick. And then that is what it looks like as a swatch. Oh, I do like that. That would be really nice for a pastel-y look. I guess it does go quite nicely with the palette. However, is there a blue in there? Well, I guess it might go with the purple. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we have the pink one. And that's what that looks like in a stick. That's a really nice orangey pink they don't blend out too well but i think that they would be really good bases for you know bolder look or for the blue maybe for like a pastel -y look and then we have here this is just the beauty bay packaging so it doesn't give too much away and it says crayon eyeliner cool i have one of these already i have it in black i don't know what color this is yet what i use on my waterline like every time I do my makeup. It's, it's what's on my waterline today as well. So is it black? Is it black? Oh, I, d I don't know what color this is. Does it say on the packet? Where is the packet? I can't see that it says the shade name on here unless it's deep. It may be deep, but it looks like black with flecks of blue glitter in it so you can't really see it on camera or maybe you can just a little bit of that shiny blueness that's interesting it's subtle next one this says a fine liner brush perfect for applying gel liquid or cream eyeliner bb211 glides along the lash line to create precise finish every time this brush is cruelty free and vegan friendly have a look then it's going to be a fine detailing brush get it oh it is as i assume with most detailing brushes they are never as fine as i want them to be i don't know whether that's just a a me problem however oh my god look so i've literally just taken this out of the packaging and i just want you to see that let me let me focus this. I just want you to see that it's it's already got hairs that are like misplaced. Like you can see that there. I was just about to say it does look nice and firm. Um, I don't know. You can't pull them out either. The annoying thing is that when you get this happen to your brushes, your only real option, as far as I know, is to cut them. Like cut these like two little ones that are sticking out. But then if you put that on your face, you end up potentially having like lines or like if you were to put this bit like there, you'd end up with like two little lines. So a little bit disappointing. Obviously, it's from where they've gone like that and they've just been like pulled back by putting the ironically the protective casing on it. Uh, from the looks of it, there is 
three more things left. So let's count. We've got the crayons, that's one. The Jungle Book palette, that's two. The Overnight Mask, that's three. The Cleansing Balm, that's four. The Brush, that's five. The Crayon, that is number six. The Toner, which is seven. That should mean that there is four more things in here, which there is three more things, but that is probably down to me miscounting. I'm just gonna pick up this thing because I've just seen what it is on the back. This is facial cleansing pads and this is the box that it comes in and then on the back it's just got the instructions that's a it's a bit disappointing i think you know if i if i wanted cleansing pads i would go out and buy them i didn't buy a mystery box supposedly full of makeup and skincare i guess technically it is skincare yes but i don't know i i feel like it's a bit bit annoying anyway it does come in this nice pouch so let's open it up oh okay they're actually like they're they're pads like cotton pads that's interesting okay i take back what i said like that's that's quite interesting and there's one two three in here they are very nice they feel very soft they've all got the little beauty baby on them yeah i'd be very interested to try that and they will go really well with the cleansing balm so i take back me complaining about those a minute ago oh okay i'll just show you this one and this says on the back it's a matte lipstick quad let your lips do the talking with our ultra creamy intensely pigmented lipsticks our comfortable smudge proof formula lasts on the lips all day long find your new favorite oh okay right this one's got my attention ah okay when it said quad i thought it was going to be a palette it is not it is a set it is a set of three actual lipsticks and i did see that again a couple of people had these in their palettes i must say i do like the packaging it is very nice and sleek and simple it's just very cute i think very nice to like display them together they feel quite heavy actually the shade names are we've got one here called bikini sunset smile and gelato now <laughs> i don't know whether you can gather by my instagram by my past videos i'm not a pink person on the lips anyway or i would say anywhere but sometimes i do have pink eyeshadow so however i don't like pink lipstick on myself i don't like pink lip gloss on myself i don't like pink toned things on my lips unless it's a very browny kind of pinky nude that's the only kind of like pinky I will accept. So there is two pinks in here and two browns. So I will pick them up one by one. This first one is Bikini. You can see that. And it looks like this. Wow, that is. It's coming off super pink on camera, but it's not. It's, it's more of a nudie pink in real life. Let me just swatch this. So that's the swatch of it. I don't know, it's not the worst pink I've seen in the world. I can give it a go. I will give it a try. And then the next one is the other pink tone and this is the shade Gelato. And this is what it looks like. And then I will just swatch this. I'll swatch this next to the previous one. That's a much more pinkier pink, whereas the it makes the other one look like a more corally orange pink. Mm. I don't know, I think I would give that shade a go. We'll see, we'll see. And then we have the two brown ones. So this is Smile, and this is what it looks like. And then again, I will just swatch it next to the other ones. See, that's the colour that I am more likely to go for on the lips. I do much prefer, like, brown tones and darker, like, nudie tones. 
So I'm sure I'll get a lot of use out of that. I haven't used um, like actual lipsticks in so long. That being said, I do use the ColourPop Lippy Stick Stash Cup. Oh, it's so hard for me to say that every single time. I use them so much as what I got on my lips now. I got it for my birthday. I think there's like at least 10, if not more colors in there. And I love the formula, love the colors. But they've got some pink ones in there that I haven't used either. All that to say that I think that will be really nice. This is the last one in the quad and this one is Sunset and this looks like a very true nude. Oh wow, on camera that comes out very pink. In real life it is a very like browny looking color. So let's swatch it. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that looks a lot like the first shade, which in real life it's not. It's a lot more of a, like, browny, pinky, nudie tone. And then we have the last thing in the box, and I can see already it is a palette. It is this palette. It's called New Mood. It says, what are you in the mood for? With 20 matte shimmer and glitter shades, the New Mood palette is here to help you create an infinite number of multi-dimensional looks that are always match your mood. Each shade has been made using a Bi Beauty Base signature formula with intense pigment payoff and major staying power. Blend the colors over prime skin and feel the serotonin. Mm, that's a little bit cheesy, isn't it? I do have a another Beauty Bay palette. I've got their like um, I can't remember what it's called. It's a uh, it's like twelve shades and it's autumnal and it's got like burnt reds and oranges and golds in there, which is it's a really nice formula and I really like those eyeshadows. That being said. I'm not a colourful person. I don't like bold. I don't know how many times I need to mention that in this video. I don't do bold colours, blues, purples, yellows. I like to stick to quite like muted, neutrals, maybe like a pop of colour, but it's never going to be neon. It's never going to be bright. Anyway, let's open this up and see what's happening inside. Comes in this box, which is nice. Do, 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 I appreciate that they bubble wrapped it because there is nothing worse than getting a broken palette in the post revolution. No, I'm joking. They gave me a new one. They were really good about it, <laughs> but it was annoying. I don't think that that was wrapped in bubble wrap at all. Anyway, <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot of bubble wrap. A very colorful palette straight off the bat. Let's see. I love how they put these plastic things in there and as soon as you open them, they're gone. There is no effort to stick it or stop that. This is the palette on the inside. There is some truly bright colors in there. Let's have a look. I will say I do love when a palette has the shade names or has shade names written on them. I don't know how well you can see. Each one has the shade name underneath and that's really helpful for when you're doing like shorts or TikToks or even just posting on um, Instagram someone asks like what's on your eyes you can say oh it's this shade it's that shade it's from this palette so that's really really helpful like they said there is a mix and match of matte shimmer and glitter shades so let's have another look i'm not gonna swatch every single one of these because we'll be here forever but let's swatch this blue shade and this is called inspired oh that's very pretty Ooh, yes. Let's do another one. This shade is called Euphoric, and in this lighting, it looks like a greeny gold. Just coming off as gold. Well, I think that I will get a lot of use out of this. Like, there is some shades that are definitely within my comfort zone, these first ones. This one's called Gracious, Curious, and Grateful. That's really cute little names. Um, and euphoric as well. I think I'll get use out of that. But it's nice to have this to play with. It looks like these colours will all work really well together. So you can definitely mix and match like they say in the description. And actually, yeah, I'm quite excited to play with that. And these shades over here and some of these shades up here will go really nicely with those eyeshadow crayons from the Disney thing. So that is everything that was in the box. And I would say overall, I'm actually fairly happy with the things that came in there. Like I said, um, the reviews on both of their comment section and the actual product 
page itself on their website was very mixed. There was a lot of people who loved it, a lot of people that weren't so fond of it. I would say it's a good, it's a good amount of stuff for £35. That's definitely a very good price for everything that you get in there, irregardless of if it is stuff that's on sale, stuff that's discounted because it's the end of the line or stuff that they can't get rid of. It's, it's a good amount of stuff for the price that you are paying. It's a good way to get yourself out of your comfort zone. Like I've mentioned several times in this video so far, I do tend to stay with neutrals or like darker tones or reds and things that are very much in my comfort zone. And now I have some things that I am excited to try that are a little bit more colorful and also some skincare to try, which like I said earlier, I'm not too into skincare, but it is something that I would like to get into potentially maybe in the new year because I have skin. <laughs> So yeah, I, I would recommend this box, I think, especially to people that are starting out in makeup and don't necessarily know what they want or what their style is. You get a nice array of things to test out and you can see what you like from there. Or if you're someone like me that can get a bit stuck, who can keep doing the same looks and is just looking for some inspiration, then yeah, I would say give it a go. I would just reiterate, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, Beauty Bay is having some issues with their deliveries and there are some customers that are saying that they haven't received their orders. And I have had a couple of issues with Beauty Bay that have made me think that I will possibly, probably think twice before going and buying any more stuff. But I would again like to mention that they did respond back to me within two days or three days, something like that, to apologize for um, my delivery being late and to offer me that 20% discount should I make another purchase with them in the future. And also they are supposed to be <laughs> refunding my delivery fee of the next day delivery. Um, I'm yet to receive that, but I'm hopeful that I will. And that is it. That is the whole video, guys. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I love making these videos. And if you have any suggestions for me, let me know down below. I am always looking for ideas for videos to make because I need them. And with that being said, I will catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah. I tell you, I am having a day. If this video turns out to be half decent, then I would count that as a win. I would count that as a win. Yep. <clears throat> Let's try that one again. <laughs> oh my God, I can't even do that. Oh my God. Let's have a... Excellent. The plastic has just fallen out and it has fallen straight into my coffee. Beauty Bay, is there no end to the damage you can do? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm... Hey, it's Inception. Let me just swatch that for you on an area that's not the palm of my hand. I tell you, the bloopers reel in this video is going to be lit. Ignore my stupid Christmas tree. I hate this Christmas tree. I hate it. I hate it. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. I'm mad at the Christmas tree. Don't need to be mad at the Christmas tree. Everything is fine. And uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't take the plastic out of my coffee and I've been drinking it.